Hello, my lovelies. <clears throat> As you can tell, I am still a little sick. However, I've been postponing this for a while. And I think I have shit to do this weekend. So, <laughs> I don't want to postpone it any longer. So, depending on how my energy is, let's see how far we can get on this broadcast. And if I get past this broadcast, then let's see if I do another one. If not, then, yeah. Alright, this is the late broadcast of Saturday Morning Wood. <clears throat> Today we are going to do young versions of wrestlers. Which is pretty interesting. Um, ah, oh shit, forgot to switch out Batista. Ah, well, fuck it. We'll go ahead and make our way to the fighting pit. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start things off. Oh, we always start from the bottom. As Daniel Bryan, 2011, will take on Hulk Hogan Pow. Or as I call him, Japan Hogan. So, Bry11 will take on <laughs> Hulk Hogan Japan. I'm gonna I mean, we're gonna AI this shit. But we are going to take it to the Saturday Night's Main Event. Or the Saturday Morning Wood Arena. Alright, here we go. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how and why is this happening? Well, future Daniel Bryan, through his many space-time continuum um, travels, caused a rift in time. So now, past incarnations and future incarnations are now able to interact with one another. I have to admit, though, it is kind of surreal seeing Daniel Bryan in this type of surrounding with guardrails and the blue pads and everything. Hi, PS3. Man, I love this. My understanding, whenever I upload to YouTube, um, I get notifications saying that my videos are blocked in some countries due to copyright shit. Which I think is the dumbest fucking thing in the world. The fact that we can limit people's um, viewing or listening to music or anything else is the stupidest thing. Ever. So I went ahead and made some changes. So enjoy Hogan's new theme. Here he is, ha! Uh, it's a Hulk Hogan. This is a uh, pasta mania Hulk Hogan. As he comes down to the ring, and uh, look at him, he's got a full head of hair, he's a beautiful, he's gorgeous, look at the mustache. And the mustache, it's, uh, she's a very, you know, she's a very love. <coughs> And then you have him staring at the shirt, and he's happy as a pig and sheep. <coughs> Hi, Timmy Jerk. <laughs> this is surprisingly going well with Hogan. <coughs> It's that headlock takeover by Daniel Bryan. D. Bryan won one. And there is Hogan with the head scissors. Keep up into a side headlock again by Dan D. Bryan one one. Why am I still talking like this? Where'd you get in now? Japan Hogan. Throwing him over. And now 
Bringing him in hard way with that suplex. Now, when 2K says that the next game is going to have the biggest roster ever, they better include, like, past legends, because that's part of the charm of why we keep buying these fucking games. Are they chanting Gordon? Or Goldberg? European uppercut there by Brian 1-1. Lock up again. With the go behind. The Snapmare take over by Hogan into a side headlock. Chin lock. Oof, wrenching it in there, kind of twisting the neck. Of course, at this time, Daniel Bryan didn't really have too many neck problems. Larry up in the corner. Ooh, and a kick to the spine. Hogan trying to ground Young. Little young Daniel Bryan. Oh, Daniel Bryan with a slap kick. And now working the arm of Hogan, trying to make sure he doesn't hit that axe boom. Ah. And another kick. He's getting floored here. Daniel Bryan having some uh, issues here. Oh, missing the ends of Gary. Short arm, elbow, and now stomping at the midsection of Daniel Bryan. Lifted him up. Big suplex. Drop kick and a pretty good looking one. Working the arm again of Hulk Hogan. Blocking it. There's a shot to the face. European uppercut. Ooh, short arm kick. Looks interesting when he does it. Oh, there's the kick to the leg, and there comes those chest. Oh, now to the liver. Oh, finally resting on the head. Cover. Two count only. Fair kick to the midsection by Hogan. Trying to go for a back elbow. Daniel Bryan blocks it. Irish reversal. Bryan down to the apron. Hogan a little too slow with those hits and now going to the outside. Ripping the table off. I guess he's... Planning on something. Oof, Daniel Bryan. Wait, turn to clear the table and then gives him a red right hand. Now throwing him into that table corner. Luck of the European uppercut. A shot to the face. Now slamming Daniel Bryan on there. And Hogan going up to the table. What is he going to do? Pulling him down, could be. He's grabbing the neck. What the hell is he doing? Oh, no. No, 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 no! Cover! One, two, three, no! Daniel Bryan kicked out of that. <laughs> Had it not been for referee Paul Reiser Sr. Oh, right in the back of the head of Daniel Bryan. As I was saying, had it not been for referee Paul Reiser Sr.'s amazement of that move, knee DT. Daniel Bryan would be out of this tournament. One, two, no, he kicks out. Hogan now standing there waiting for him to get up. Almost playing a sick game here. Predator versus Prey, and now... Oh, no, 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 that's unprotected. No, 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 oh, no! One, two, three. Goodbye, Daniel Bryan. That was not verissimo.
Hey, Jim Jim. As you see, those kicks to the head there, just enraging Hogan. Just a good section right there. Look at this knee DT. What's up, clamps? Hi, Valkyrie, my beautiful. And look at this finish right here by Hogan. No disregard. He's looking into his eyes saying, Fuck you. Boom. Uh, hello. Don't miss it. Hi. Oh, and Hogan. I'm the winner, bitch. <laughs> Giving props to his lovely fans out there. You don't touch me, I touch me. I don't need a bitch. <laughs> what do you like in the past? This <laughs> is so good. <laughs> I'm happy I chose this one for him. Ah, you got yourself a white girl now. That's good, Clamps. Congratulations, brother. Is it the one you told us about? All right, let's get ahead and move on to the next one. She actually like brothers. Well, white girls like brothers. Come on. The white girl that I was all goo goo over. She liked brothers. Um, it's a shame too, because I'm only black on the inside. <laughs> I pulled a schoolie D, Esther, if I'm a, am I black enough for you? But apparently I'm not, so. Let's go ahead here, move on to the Viper versus the Scorpion. Ah, you got with her friend. Good idea. If the girl stops, starts acting up, then you take her friend. Oh, I agree, fanfare. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead here. We're going to select the arena again because they never stick with it. That's stupid. Okay. Here we have Balls Count Anywhere. Randall, 2011, is going to take on Sting. Here's young Randall. Not sure what exactly is going on. He has not grasped the situation yet that he has stepped through a time portal. Thus, he is now teamed with the future incarnations of himself in the evolution of Randy. And here comes the king of Carnival, judging by that jacket, Steve. Oh, and those poor fans are getting burned by those fireworks. Oh, PS3, I mean, there's Randy Orton, Randy Orton 2011, Randy Orton Hall of Fame, Randy Orton fucking last year. Yeah, it's all four of them. I think five of them, if I'm not mistaken. They have formed a new crew. Oh, they signed a waiver. Thank you. Thank you, my lovely. <laughs> now we're going to find out who is superior, a viper or a scorpion. There's a bell. Hello, John Bash. There's a lockup now. 
The side headlock takeover there by Sting. Could be coming up right here. No, Randall pushes him off. Into the corner. Drop kick. What a beauty. Now working the knees of Steve. There's a lock up again. A little go behind. Breaks in will go behind of his own. Oh, body takedown there. He's clipping those uh, top ropes. Throwing him down like the dead weight of Lex Luger. Kicks in the midsection into a lockup. Go behind again by Randall. You gotta admit though, I'm kind of impressed he hasn't gone for a headlock. The reverse chin lock there by Sting after that snap no takeover. Love the boots. Never noticed the buckle on the back. Into a side headlock. There we go. First one of the night, I believe. Touching Sting up into a lockup. Oh, another headlock, Randy. Steve is not having it. Steve with a big punch to the ear, flooring the young Randall. Oh, driving the knee. Big leg drop by the yellow and blue one. Catches him into a slow turning neck breaker. Randall now. Drive with the knee across the face. Trying to go for that drop again. Steve bypasses it with an overhand right. He's kicked in the dick by Randall. And another one. European uppercut this time. Now putting Steve in the corner. Short arm clothesline. Oh, yes, John Bash. I got two. Two, two, two. <laughs> I got a red one with the new logo, and then I got a black one with the old school logo. There's a hit to the dick. Trying to stab him in the back of the head with that hammer. Steve gets back to his feet. Oh, he blocks. And Steve, Nikki Bella selling it. Falling forward on a clothesline. It's like falling backwards on a Hurricane <laughs> Rana. Beautiful DDT. And now the stupidest move in wrestling, the overdrive. Steve gets up, he says that move is fucking dumb. RKO, that's a move right there. That's a move that you finish with. One, two, three. Fuck you, Steve. As young Randall. Making sure work of Steve. Hanging out with the future Hymns. Randall. Looks a little upset and happy that he won at the same time. Hi, super fan. Ah, uh, yes, it is, John Bash. Randall showing off the bulge. Tip over that hammer. Look at this. <laughs> what? Clamps, she wants somebody to love. And she needs somebody to love. I would really like somebody to love. But it's hard to find somebody to love. <laughs> awesome, John. Thank you so much. Okay, folks, so already moving on to the semifinals, we got Japan Hogan and Randall 04. So let's go ahead and move on to a very interesting one. We're referring to Lionheart Chris Jericho taking on Minty Fresh Ultimate Warrior. That's what I call that makeup. I really hope Jericho wins. Now, Vans, who do you want to win on this one? You want the Warrior or do you want the Lionheart? <laughs> uh, 
I sure did, beautiful. Very creepy song. These damn denim chony Undertaker uh, Ultimate Warriors. <laughs> Holy shit, you look weird like that. The fans waiting the arrival of him. And the lights are out. There he is. You know when Jericho comes out to this, I gotta root for him. So I really hope that he wins this and goes on to the next round. All the days of my life. Alright folks, here we go, the Lion Heart versus the Heart of the Warrior. They're the Heart of the Lion, actually. There's a really badass fan-made video from Heart of the Lion to, it's to Jericho's career. It's freaking awesome. Goes in now with a lockup. This is the most chain wrestling I've ever seen Warrior do. Side headlock takeover by the Lionheart. Ah, oh, Gene Taint. Hey, Hollywood. Warrior now back to his feet. Unless they didn't put much animation with his tassels. Back body drop. Oh, resting his feet on those ropes. And really? All that for a shoulder cloth? Look at this warrior. Throws him down now. Lionheart making his way back to his feet. Catches the boot. Ends the carry. Into the hairsprayed mullet of Ultimate Warrior. Kick to the spine. Boy, that sounded pre recorded. Um, <laughs> whipping him with a hammer throw into that corner. Uh, it's okay to put the Attitude Era, but I really wish they'd get the fuck off the Attitude Era and start putting like the 92 episodes or you know anything before Attitude Era or post Attitude Era. I'll even take the Ruthless Aggression Era where I wasn't watching because they buried Benoit early. You know what I mean? Or like, yeah, fucking hiding right and everything else. Like, where the mid card and the low card were the matches to watch. And now Jericho using that ladder against Warrior. Plus, we need more Nitro episodes. We need more fucking ECW episodes. We need to get Thunder on there. Oh, Big Boot! Nope. Running neck breaker there by Lionheart. Now putting the boot to him. Or oh, the kick back to him. Oof. Pointy elbow to the face. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho catches again. Another into Gary. Taking a hold of that ladder. 
right into the kidney. Now Warriors setting up the ladder, stopping Jericho from going into the blue tarp to get some goodies. Back breaker. Looking to spy in a warrior. Picking him back up. Lifting him up. Power bomb. And another power bomb. And another power bomb. Three power bombs to the outside. This is enough. One, two, three. Fuck you, warrior. <laughs> ah, shit. I went too far away from the computer. No, God. Just play. Here we have Lionheart Chris Jericho with the triple power bomb. Triple. All right, get you some strange. Lionheart Chris Jericho moves on to the semi-finals. All right, let's go for our final first round match. I know we already got a great semi-finals match of Jericho. The Lionheart taking on Japan Hogan. Jericho, no stranger to Japan, so. Sorry, folks, I'm reading the results of SmackDown. Ugh. And it involves the stipulation of Sheamus versus Dolph at Extreme Rules, and it's fucking stupid. So, we'll see. We shall fucking see, so... All right. Let's see here. Okay. Let's go on to our final match. We've got... The, I really... I really, really, really want, wanted to switch out Batista, but I guess I just totally forgot. Um, he's going to be taking on Alberto. 2011 scary Alberto, mind you. <laughs> um, fuck. So, yeah. This is happening. Shit chinned Batista. He's gonna be taking on Alberto's scary eyebrows. Let's make our way to the fighting pit, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna find it interesting, uh, to be quite honest, of, uh, the cage match where the RKO is banned. Maybe it'll be returning the punt kick. That damn one toe pose of Dave. It's like a goblin. If you get the E, I'll bring you gold. Gold. It's me, Dave Batista, the goblin. <laughs> what did you say? I'll steal your breath when you sleep. It's Dave, and I got a shit chin. So yeah, we microphone Dave Batista. The only way to please me from spilling your blood is diet soda. Bring me a diet soda. Says Dave Batista before the match. And now, 
Oh, dude, that would be amazing. <laughs> Okay, Goblin Dave. Here comes young Alberto El Patron. Sporting his ah, Alberto de Oro. This is when he was just a, a young Mexican aristocrat. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Pero! At this point in his age, he never thought that he would be leading one of the most powerful factions here in WFWF history. Of course, referring to the LWO. So young Alberto here. Full of high hopes though, look at him. Confident, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Pero. Lock up now. Let's see how Dave's technical skills are around this era. I totally forgot because this is when I stopped watching. Um, <laughs> I bet they'll with a just wrist lock into a hammer lock here. Showing us the stupid belly button tattoo of Dave Batista. As in Batista now with a Fujiwara armbar. I bet they're close to the ropes, but they don't mean much in a false count anywhere. Balls count anywhere match. Rolls through though into another lockup. Another miss lock by Dave. Reversal there by Alberto. Ooh, snapping the arm. A bit of a stinger kicked in his liver. Ooh, straight haymaker to the face now. Ooh, block, please. Ripping him off, bouncing him. And a big boot. Wow, stop, bitch. Says uh, Goblin Dave, and he's going back in there for more. Completely just punching the shit out of Alberto. Alberto getting back to his feet now. The perception is fucked. Pump and half ass drunkard. Shoving him off now. Alberto's pissed. Miss the ends of Gary. His perception is still a little bit fucky. But that clothesline on the other hand, flooring Dave. Get to the midsection now. I think so on that one too, Van Fair. It would have been a monstrous tag team. Like, Brock is the power and the speed. While Dave is the power. No charisma. And now putting the bat to him. Unless we were talking like later in his career and big German suplex on the outside. Alberto now working the spine of Dave. Side Samoan Lake Sweep or Filipino in this point. Ah, but yeah. If it was later in his career, Batista, like before he retired, then I, I could see that as an awesome tag team because he was starting to get better before he left. Picks him up now. No, Alberto reverses into a face buster. Also trying to pop out the arm. And now flooring Alberto there with the strike exchange. Both these men with mixed martial arts. Oh, spine buster. That was a big one. Try to get up the stairs. One, two. No, Alberto kicks out. The mixed marital arts backgrounds. Of course, uh, Alberto's was before. Not so sure about Dave's around this time. 
Oh no! Okay, belly to belly. It still hurts. At least he didn't launch him. Mix him up. Oh, rib breaker. Cover. One, two, three. Good night, Alberto. That's fucking. Yep, he caught the corner of those stairs, the back of his neck, from that spine buster. Already dazed from the hits of, of Dave, and oh my god, his head hit those stairs again! Now Dave... Cleaning his mouth and milking two cows. Shoving referee Paul Reiser Sr. out of the way. The shit eating grin with the shit covered chin. Dave Batista moves on to the semifinals. Hello, Toad. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. Here are the semifinals. We got Randall taking on Batista. And we got Jericho versus Hogan. And you know where we're going first, folks. We're going for this. I am going to play as Hogan. Well, as the computer will be Chris Jericho. And I trust you, my lovelies. I will try to make this as interesting as possible. Because I don't want this to just, you know, end. So let's go ahead and make our way to the fighting pit. Kind of looks like somebody took a bite out of Hogan. On the side there. Look at it. Here's the lion heart. The only man. Of course, referring to Mr. Postomania. Hal <laughs> Hal Kog.
Here they are, folks. Drop kick already by Hogan. Cover. One. No. Whip there. Drop down. Drop down. Big forearm shiver by Japan Hogan. Side slow and leg sweep now by Jericho. Load over, swinging neck breaker by Japan Hogan. And another forearm shiver. Oh, and is he mocking? He is mocking Jericho. What a jerk. No, missed that into Gary. Jericho blocks it. Now got him on against the ropes. Chop, Jackson. No, Hogan blocks it. Back body drop. Down to the midsection. Oh, now to the shoulder. to the outside, Hogan. Hogan now inviting him back in. Moonsault! Oh, crumbling! Jericho! Oh, no. He could be setting him up. That devastating bridging neck bomb. I don't even want to know what he's planning on doing with those stairs. Japan Hogan now. Jericho got the bat. No! Jericho totally stopped. Now Hogan. Jericho stopping him with that backbreaker. Drop kick and a beauty by Hogan. Picks him up. Oh, Jack Hammer. Across the job. Big boot by Hogan. Hogan now. Just completely mocking Jericho. Flexing the muscle. Jericho, it's a trap. What are you doing? And now, oh no. Hogan now. Oh no. No, no, those stairs are right there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh God. Hogan. Too short on that elbow. <laughs> He's too confident. Jericho now hitting him with those stairs. Why is he selling the leg? I don't think Hogan's ever been on this receiving end before. No, he rolls out of the way. Into that guardrail. World star punch. And another one. And another one. Him into those stairs. Now working the back. Oh, a power bomb. And another one. Oh, 
slamming the back of his head. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Look at the folding. One, two, no! Jericho kicks out. Hogan is pissed. Oh, <laughs> no! Hogan now risking it going to the top. Oh, what a dick. Jericho constantly running. Atomic drop, breaking his ass. No, Jericho fights back. Hit to the midsection. Hogan continuously running. Dropping him across the knee. Cover. One, two, three. What? What? Are you serious? Are you serious? After all of that! Chris Jericho is moving on to the finals after a rather fucky main event or match against, against Japan Hogan who was just looking to kill a man. <laughs> you seriously think I was going to take away that wonderful wonderful theme song? Okay, so let's go ahead. <laughs> <coughs> and move on, I guess. What a fucky ending. Nothing weird about it at all. All right, hopefully I fucked this one up too. It's a weird Batista. <laughs> we'll lose, hopefully. <clears throat> wow. You're playing a wonderful theme song.
Yeah. So the way you say that, I can I can hear uh, Donnie from Trailer Park Boys, the guy you never see on camera who always screams it. Oh, take your time, Randy! Goblin Dave. <laughs> Good one, show. <laughs> Stall Randy Hogan and Blender J with short. Goblin Dave making his way to the ring. Stretching out like a caramello. Kyle Gas there in the camo hat. Poop. That's all he's good for. <laughs> Dave now throwing young Randall to the outside. He hit referee Paul Reiser Sr. Oh! <laughs> Snacking his head. Those blue steps. They're blue, so they hurt more. And now doing the Filipino sidestep of death. Bethesda. Oh! Throwing. Batista face first under there. Close to that guardrail. Could have knocked out some tooth. STO takedown. Oh! His butt caught the corner. Of those steps, hurt like a son bitch. Into that guardrail. World star, world star, world star. And another big boot. <laughs> Dave forgot his spots. Yeah, just flex. That's all you're good for, Holmes. Doing that sidestep again. Big spine buster. Oh, a close line by Randall. Cover. One. Oh, sure, he gets all the fucking energy. Randy go for cover again, rookie. One. If he goes for another cover, it might count for three. Oh, would you stop? Now these two coming to blows. On the outside, now Randall with a reversal. Face buster again. Oh, right in those steps. If they stay outside, chances are there'll be things out there to make it interesting. Blocks that drop kick. Twisting that quicker. We're now in unpadded territory, folks. Scoop and a poop. Now came Snake and Mouse. Power slam! Now Dave climbing into that ring. Get an old-fashioned chair. 
right across the back of Young Randall. And another one. Waiting for him to get up. Oh, busting him open. STO, he is fucking up this youngster. Oh, Randall with that reversal. He loves that shit. Big clothesline. Batiza. Batiza. Y'all got that later. Floor and Randall. He's got that table. Oh, no. No, not on the ladder. No, 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 no. Oh! Cover. One, two. No! Randall kicks out. Oh, damn, if I'm having Batista go to finish. STO now going up. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't have the latter spot. He's scared. Batista is scared. Oh no. Now Randall. Power. Oh, right under the unpadded territory. <laughs> says that table a stiff pin now he is not making it easy for this kid suplex reversal this is not looking good Getting another chair. Oh, Randall with a shot there. And that stupid move. One, two, no, he kicks out. RKO and he busted open Batista. Cover, cover, cover. One, two, three. <laughs> RKO at a Compton. <laughs> One second, my lovers. Hello? Oh, there she's home.
Well, folks, there you have it. Making his way to the finals, the bloody and pure rainbow. <laughs> And there's the finals, folks. It's young Randy Orton. Let's see. Okay, so who do you folks got? <laughs> who do you folks want to see be the king of the youngins? We got Randall and Lionheart Chris Jericho. <laughs> Be quite honest, I really don't know. So uh, let's see. We're gonna go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this one. Keep in mind, folks, just because I'm playing it doesn't mean that they'll win. That's been very evident. Oh. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make our way to the fighting pit for the finals of this match. Here he is all stitched up, and he's okay, folks. He's okay. He's good. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. And there's the pyro. Trying to time it right. So that way when the lyrics kick in, he will actually... It's right now. Okay, here we go. Slamming him down. Now Jericho. Cover. No, he kicks out. Oh, that, that scared me. Cover. 
One, two, what? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god! <laughs> I seriously thought he was going to kick out! Okay, back <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I agree, man. <laughs> well, fans, we're fucked. That was the fastest ending ever. Chris King Lionheart, Chris Jericho. Oh my god. Okay, well... <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna do it for Saturday Night Raw. <laughs> god, what a finish! Oh my god. Okay, that's gonna do it for Saturday Night... Saturday Morning Wood. Um, I'll be back later tonight. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> with more of the programming to catch up in the week. Thank you guys for joining me. <laughs> I love you very much. This is Dino Whitwood saying, Oh, you 818. Follow this channel. Follow me on Twitter at Naughty Bobby. I love you guys. <laughs>